Hi guys, I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be Lost Media Category number 21. Jason Leffler lost footage of fatal 410 sprint car accident 2017. Um, this article has been tagged as not safe for life due to its discussion of fatal motor racing accident. Um, if you guys don't want to watch this video, it's very understandable because this is talking about a fatal motor racing accident and it's talking about death. So if you just do not like that stuff, do not watch this video because I will be talking about this fatal, uh, lost fatal footage of 410 sprint cup sprint car accident. So you know, if 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 you don't like deaths, don't watch this lost media. But I'm just gonna get into it. On June 12, 2013, NASCAR driver Jason Leffler was competing in a 410 sprint car race at Bridgeport Speedway when his vehicle suffered a front suspension failure. The resulting crash into a wall as well as the car flipping over several times result in Leffler passing away from blunt force neck injury. It's believed footage of the accident was captured with one Reddit user claiming that he had two videos of the crash. Background. Jason Leffler entered the 410 Sprint Car event that headlined the night of the Wings 2013 show at Bridgeport Speedway in New Jersey. As per the night of the Wings qualifying format, Leffler was drawn into a heat race group that helped to determine the qualifying order. During the time stage, Leffler posted the ninth fastest speed out of 29 competitors. He was therefore set to compete in a heat race that would give him the opportunity to qualify for the main race. During the heat race, Leffler was running second on, on the fifth lap of the event. Suddenly, the front suspension of his vehicle failed as a torsion arm got lodged between the right front wheel and front steering arm. This caused him to lose control of the car as steering locked up. The car then crashed left side onto an uh, on outside concrete wall at turn four before flipping over, eventually landing on its wheels. While it's not known how fast Leffler was going at the time of the component failure, driver, drivers generally reach an average of a speed of 135 miles per hour and a top speed of 150 miles per hour on the straights. While Leffler did wear a restraint that protect him from frontal impacts it was not designed to protect drivers against side-on crashes. Ultimately, this proved fatal as Leffler suffered a blunt force neck and backbone injury. Medics tried to re-suffocate him after he lost consciousness and he was not breathing. But it was no, it, but it was no to avail. He was transferred to a NASCAR driver who had competed in, oh, I, I skipped some stuff, sorry. He transferred to the Cruiser Chester Medical Center, but passed away from his injuries 30 minutes after the accident at the age of 37. A NASCAR driver who competed in the Cup Series since 2001, Leffler had also received achieved two wins in the Bush Series and a victory in the Craftman Truck Series. His resilient personality and grit also made him popular and respected individual among fellow racers in three national NASCAR series. The race itself was immediately red flag following the crash and out of respect of Leffler, the other events held that weekend were canceled. 
Additionally, full restraints for racing are now mandatory in, in New Jersey. Um, availability. While photos and footage of the aftermath are publicly available, no video of the crash has ever resurfaced. It's known that a spectator recorded parts of the race, which end, ends a lap prior to the impact. However, it's unknown whether they were still filming by the time the crash occurred. Additionally, one Redditor claimed that were one Redditor user claimed they were in possession of two different videos of the crash. Out of respect of for Leffler's family, they decided against posting it online. Um, okay, so I got some stuff to show up. Uh, there's a little, uh, there's a animated reconstruction of the crash. And then there's a couple other videos, but they, they just talk about the career of Jason Leffler. And they're too long. And they are too long, so I'm not going to really do that. Before I do go into the reconstructed video, here's a picture of the aftermath. Um, yeah, so it looks like that's how bad the crash wa was. It looks pretty bad for... Uh, a sprint car crash. I don't think. I don't think he would have survived the crash. Oops, I didn't mean to do. I didn't mean to do. I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, guys. Um. Here's the here's the little video. race at Bridgeport Speedway Wednesday night. Leffler, who had the nickname Left Turn on the windows of his cars, was running in second place. This is a reanimated crash. crash. This is twice, not the real crash. Over, according to one witness. He was extricated from the wreck and rushed by helicopter to Crozier Chester Medical Center, where he later succumbed to his injuries. The NASCAR champion is survived by his five-year-old son, Charlie Dean. Okay. Oops, sorry. So that was a reanimated reconstruction of the crash. That wasn't the real crash, so don't worry. It was just a, it was just an animated reconstruction of the crash. That wasn't the actual crash. There is no footage of the actual crash, but that's just some um, reconstructed footage of somebody made. So that is Lost Media. That's Lost Media number 21. Jason Leffler, Lost Footage of Fatal 410 Sprint Car Accident 2013. And if you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace, period.